listen to Psalm 110, verse 5, and the rest of the psalm in light of your interpretation. Verse 5, it says, Adonai is at your right hand. You said this is Adonai. This refers to Yahweh. It doesn't refer to the Messiah. He, the pronoun referring back to Adonai, he will shatter kings in the day of his wrath. He, referring back to Adonai, will judge among the nations. He, referring back to Adonai, will fill them with corpses. He, referring back to Adonai, will shatter the chief men over a broad country. He, referring back to Adonai, will drink from the brook by the wayside. Therefore, he will lift up his head. If Adonai here is a reference to the Father, why does he sound so much like the Messiah raising his head after the victory over apostate and uh, ungodly kings? Of course, that's an excellent question. First of all, I concede entirely the word is Adonai, Yahweh, and that makes no difference at all whether you say Yahweh, Adonai, and yes, the reversal is quite deliberate. I put it to you this way. You're neglecting 446 evidently correct distinction between Adonai and Adonai, and you're hinting then that somehow they got the pointing wrong in verse 1. That's not fair. When you have 446 samples of correct pointing without any evidence of an incorrect pointing, I don't think you're raising a fair point. Of course, the Messiah and Yahweh operate as one. We know that. And so it's perfectly fine for them to blend together from verse 5 onwards, and yes, I think it's certainly the Messiah who raises his head. I get that. But you'll find that blending of pronouns as between God and Messiah in a number of passages. It doesn't offset the plain recognition that in other passages, even Psalm 109 and other places in the Psalms, one in Isaiah, you can have Adonai at your right hand. It's a very clear perception of a different picture. Much of commentary recognizes that. So that's not enough then to destroy the obvious fact that in verse 1, Adonai is the non-deity title. 